I believe that the way one reacts to situations depends on how one feels from the heart. I was an avid Taisi fan of Meteor Garden until the remake in 2018, when I first admired and adored Dylan Wang and Shen Yue, which later I became a DUA supporter. The tandem that I greatly love. From the bottom of my heart, the UA is real. No one can ever fake the excitement in one's expressions if everything is just for publicity. No one can right away utter words if those don't come from the heart. Words can be scripted, but how those words are spoken differ when they are true. Though publicity cannot be denied on entertainment industry, that is how the business runs. But how the UA both react only proves that they are real. For me, the UA is real because the eyes do not lie and the language of their looks speaks more than a thousand words. I believe that the UA is real simply because I see and feel it. Receipts, crumbs, coincidences are the glue that holds my conviction in place. But it is through my heart, mind, and eyes that I get to verify everything clearly. Their chemistry transcended from the small screen straight right into my heart as I watched them as Sky C in Meteor Garden 2018 and their infamous behind the scenes. I started to feel this magnetic pull to ship other on screen turned real life couples, Namli and Song Song. Fan your level achieved, haha. <laughs> Before I get to dive into the enigma that was Diwe. The U.S. is as real as love itself, unlike any other ships. I have never been more thrilled and invested than I had with them. There is just something different with the way they fit each other so well. It's ecstatic and terrifyingly beautiful to witness, especially with the entertainment they belong in. I don't even have to dive into that. <laughs> anyway, I also think that these are one of the most brilliant and beautiful people I've met, albeit online. And I know for sure that their wisdom about this fandom is more than enough to keep you believing. I believe that the US is real and not a publicity stunt uh, because even up till the end too, the guests were able to notice what we DIYs noticed um, in them. So for example, Jade, uh, he said uh, they don't pick her often but they are lovely as a junior high school student. While Abby, the girl who got engaged, said she likes this pair of couple. I believe that the US is real. It's because the energy that they deliver to the surrounding them is different, and you can feel it too. Sometimes, they seem like indifferent to what other people think of them when they walk down the stairs hand in hand, on stage or backstage, stare at each other with gooey and loving eyes. It looks so natural. It's like they did it every time, right? Or when did he show his jealousy towards you? That's so much fun to see. And when I saw these two together, they look like in a bliss. So peaceful, relaxed, safe, happy, and all the good energy. You name it. Well, I believe in God. And God once said that there's nothing such a coincidence in this world. So I think... You are not coincidence too. Cheers! One of the reasons that makes me believe that DUA were real and are real and that they were not just a CP created for promotional reasons is that the Media Garden production didn't need to make any couple hype uh, nor any sensational videos in which they recreate uh, romantic scenes because their BTS were enough. Uh, their BTS were natural and their chemistry stands out and the sweet way in which they interact without even noticing the cameras um, speaks definitely louder than any hype. I am certain the UA is real because Meteor Garden promotion did not focus at all on couple promo. 
The few couple photos that were taken of Shen Yue and Dylan Wang together were not even released to the public, which is frustrating. We wish we had all the couple photos that other dramas like The Rational Life and even Use for My Talent is not having. For years, fans have been doing photo edits to fill that void. In fact, in many shows and promotions, Shen Yue wasn't even invited because marketing focused mostly on F Se and not Tsai Si, which is really silly because Shan Tsai and Dao Ming Si are the core of the drama. Another thing is that in the BTS, you can clearly see Dilang and Yue. They are transparent and spontaneous, not forced. They really seem to be doing simply what they wanted, and they were young enough to do it. Now they are more mature, and they know what the work requires from them, and they simply go ahead and do their jobs. I believe what happened between Yue is real, and not just some publicity stunts, because uh, I, I think we can all agree how strong their chemistry and the way they connect to each other. The spark was so real, it's too real to be scripted and it could all be seen during their interaction, the way they talked, the way they stared, or even the way they argued or bickered. I think it shows their true feelings. and. It's also interesting how they could always form a tiny little bubble just between two of them when they're both together. They were so immersed in their own world, ignoring many people around them. It happened almost every single time, and I don't think that was scripted as well. Hola, eh, yo la verdad es que eh, yo soy Vicen. Y creo en ellos, eh, porque creo que hay cosas que no se pueden eh, mentir, no se puede actuar. Eh, o te sale o no te sale. Y de hecho, creo que lo ha estado demostrando a lo largo de estos tres años. Con su comportamiento, inclusive esta última promoción. Eh, pero bueno. Luego, pues, todas las coincidencias, que no son coincidencias, entre otras cosas. Así que yo me mantengo, dice. I believe that they are real because Huang He Ti and Shen Ye are telling us that they are indeed real without telling it directly. I mean, come on, we cannot turn a blind eye in almost everyday dropping of hints and coincidences. We just cannot ignore the obvious. From the start until now, they are so consistent. The hints are their way on telling us that they are real and good. The hints are way too much, and I am enjoying it. I guess DIYs have become more intelligent and wise shapers. DIA had trained us so well to decode their messages. Three years had passed, and yet we are here. And most importantly, Diyue is still here for us who are patiently waiting. And I know there will come a time that they will be free to show the world their relationship. And when that happens, I pray that everyone will still be there for them. Credo in Diyue perché gli occhi non mentono. E nei loro occhi vedo tanto amore così come nei loro gesti e nelle coincidenze che continuano a spuntare dopo tanto tempo. Sono sicura che la loro relazione non sia mai stata solo una strategia di marketing. Se fosse stato così, avremmo avuto gesti molto più plateali. Inoltre, conosciamo Didi Yue e sappiamo quanto siano trasparenti anche se riservati, perciò credo sia palese la differenza tra i loro atteggiamenti nei confronti degli altri partner che hanno lavorato con loro e quelli che avevano l'uno verso l'altra. È chiaro quando stanno facendo semplicemente il loro lavoro e quando invece si lasciano trasportare dalle emozioni. Per me la risposta è simple e la possiamo vedere nelle volte che Didi menziona Yue Yue sin ningún drama e molto comodamente. Él sigue mencionándola y recordándola con esa sonrisa che le caracteriza quando sta o habla de ella. Cuando algo es por publicidad es forzado y es efímero, pero Diyue es sinónimo de lugar seguro e infinito. 
Ciao a tutti, sicuramente le immagini di queste ultime settimane ci hanno scosso un po'. Vedere Dylan così sciolto con Kilang è risultato strano quanto inaspettato. Con nessuno mai si era comportato così, solo con Yu Yu. Ma dopo lo smarrimento iniziale ho pensato semplicemente, è marketing, tutto questo serve solo a promuovere il loro lavoro, il loro nuovo drama, per attirare più pubblico possibile. Qualcuno a questo punto potrebbe pensare, allora anche con Shen Yu è stato solo marketing, un modo per pubblicizzare Meteor Garden. Ma secondo me c'è una profonda differenza tra Shen Yu e Kill Lan, ed è comunque la variabile di Lan. È vero che il nostro Didi è molto sciolto e rilassato, ma non ha gli stessi atteggiamenti che aveva con Yun, non ha le stesse attenzioni, non riserva a Kill Lan gli stessi sguardi. Il corpo si muove in maniera diversa, sembra tutto un po' forzato, come a dire devi fare questo per ottenere quello. Nelle promo di Meteor Garden, secondo me, è tutto più naturale e vero. È la loro prima volta e questo li ha aiutati. Dylan aveva all'epoca una timidezza che adesso non ha più. Ha imparato come funziona lo show business e adesso lo sta mettendo in pratica. All'epoca no, era tutto nuovo e magico. E secondo me per questo decisamente vero. Hello everyone. Bueno, esta pregunta me da la impresión que surge a raíz de todo lo que ha pasado con la publicidad del nuevo drama de Didi, la cual considero que es, es su trabajo, debe hacerlo y además todos esperamos que le vaya bien. Además tiene muy buena química con su pareja protagónica. Si lo comparamos con Victor Garden, tampoco fue fingido porque eh, más bien no hubo publicidad enfocada en la pareja. Todos sabemos que potenciaron el F4 y la, y la química que se veía en pantalla traspasó a la realidad. Y nos dimos cuenta viendo los videos detrás de escena que ellos sí se llevaban súper bien, a pesar de que pelearan. <risa> Pero también se vio el, en la posada que ellos eran muy cercanos. Eh, observándolos eh, siempre me da la impresión de que tratan de cuidarse uno al otro, que son muy compañeros eh, me encantaría que estuvieran en la vida real, pero no lo sé no estoy segura de eso, aunque sí a lo largo de estos años han dado luces eh, compartiendo las formas de pensar, de vestir eh, qué es lo que quieren para su futuro eh, nunca voy a olvidar una entrevista que dio Didi, que dijo que él en 10 años más se veía en una casa descansando con su novia y con un perro. Y ahora nuestra querida Chen Yue le gustan los perros. ¿Por qué será? <ríe> Solo les deseo lo mejor a los dos, que sean exitosos en sus carreras. Y si están juntos, mucho mejor. Saludos.